Hey everybody, welcome back to another opening video. If you've seen last weekend's video where we opened a Zero Aura V-Star VMAX box, you probably could have predicted uh, this weekend's opening, which is a Deoxys VMAX V-Star box. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. And uh, as well, just like last week's video, uh, this week's, uh, we'll actually go over a, a few possible deck ideas on how to play Deoxys, uh, VMAX, and V-Star. So, without further ado, let's get into the opening. Alright. So, this one's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, I do think, however, that... Um, this, this one here, the Deoxys, is still not as good as the Zera Aura. Um, and, you know, my reasoning on that is, you know, obviously the, the typing, right? Palkia is still crazy good. Um, and, uh, yeah, actually just before that, we, we'll go through, like, this little sheet here, right, that can't, comes with it. Uh, I, it uh, shows how to upgrade it, right? Um, you ought, probably want to get uh, the, the battle deck here with an extra um, a V, right? Because you you got two, uh, you got a V star and a V max in this box, but only one V. So if you get another V, it's better. Um, and yeah, it just talks about uh, the attacks here, the uh, the the damage from it um, talks about getting a, a, co a couple copies of Balto and Claydol which I believe are um, pardon me no removing the uh, the Balto and the Claydol from the uh, the battle deck for the Deoxys V Max and V Star. Um, it also talks about the Gardevoir's uh, Gardevoir's Shining Arcana ability to get more energy into play. So that's a possibility. Per personally, I would just for forgo this as um, the options that I'll give <laughs> are uh, probably going to be a lot better. So uh, this is what we get here. All right, we got the the three cards. Let's get rid of this. Go over the cards in a second. You get the V Star marker, obviously. You get the big card featuring Deoxys V Star. And this here is what it does, by the way. Just in case if anybody doesn't know. And then you get uh, four packs here, right? Which we will um, open after. Two Lost Origin, an Astral Radiance, and a Brilliant Stars. So that's all I have for today. But before that, we'll go into these here. Uh, the Deoxys V, right? 210 HP, two retreat, resistance to fighting, weakness to dark. Uh, first attack there for Psychic Colorless is 30 damage, uh, plus 30 more damage for each energy card attached to both active Pokemon, so that's not too bad. It's second attack there for two Psychic and a Colorless Power Edge does 140. So overall, I, I think it's a pretty lackluster V, uh, considering all the Vs that we have uh, right now in the game. But you obviously need it for the V-Star and the V-Max. So we'll go into the V-Star here. 270 HP, so the same as Hisui and Zorak V-Star. A little bit less, though, than the others. Uh, two Retreat, Resistance to Fighting, Weakness to Dark, once again. Psychic Javelin there for two Psychic and a Colorless. It does 190. And then this attack also does 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon v so this is great at setting up uh, two-hit KOs or picking off 
uh, things like Crobat V or Luminion V that are literally just parked on the bench. And then it's V Star Power there, Star Force. Uh, it's an attack for a Psychic. It does 60 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So um, if you have three there with this Psychic Javelin, because that's what, like, because you plan on using that, right? That's three energy. And let's say that you're going up against something like a Palkia V-Star, right, where they need two energy to subspace swell. You're hitting 300 for 300 damage for one energy card, right, right, even though you have three energies attached. So it's not too, too bad. Um, the V-Max there, 330 HP, three retreat this time. Uh, resistance to fighting, weakness to dark. Right, so this is actually the uh, the defense form, by the way. This is the attack form, and then this is the normal form. <laughs> its ability there, protective DNA, all your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Pretty cool. And then max drain there for a psychic and two colors does 160, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So this is more of a tank. <laughs> So, how do you play these? Well, um, you obviously need the V in the deck, right? So, how do you play the V-Star and the V-Max? Well, there's a few options, right, for, for each of them. Uh, I'll do the V-Star first. So, my personal uh, favorite options, right, you have a few, right? You can either do it the, uh, the Shadow Rider Calyrex V-Max build, Right, with the Underworld Door ability, once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon. If you do uh, attach an Energy to the, that Pokemon, you, you may draw two cards. So, pretty cool. Extra extra draw, extra Energy Acceleration, right? You play the both, both of them together. Um, another option, too, with the, the V-Star is you could do the lost engine right you can play the comfy the cramorants with the greninja mirage gate and the chloras right uh, just so you can uh, get that attack powered up a lot quicker right and um, you also have some backup attackers right in in comfy uh, permanent comfy and cramorant and then you do play um, the obviously the greninja and the sableye from from Lost Origin there. Mirage Gate there is actually really good because you're able to power up that V-Star a lot quicker. And then Colress and obviously the Comfy are to accelerate more energy. Uh, Deoxys V-Star, my opinion, is going to be a lot more playable of the two. Right? And I say that for two reasons. Um, this first reason is that Deoxys V-Max... I don't think as good uh, of a tank as Hisuian Gudra V Star. If you if you kind of watched the regional last weekend in Salt Lake City, Deoxys or pardon me, not Deoxys, Hisuian Gudra V Star actually won, right? And uh, with, with with the the Gudra V Star, it actually hits harder. It does 200 damage, and then it also has an 80 reduction. Right, so even if this does heal 30 and then reduces by 30, right, that's only 60 where Hisuian and Gudra is reducing by 80. It has slightly less HP, it has 280 HP compared to 330, but, right, it also is only worth two prizes, right, compared to Deoxys VMAX, which is three. Um... So, yeah, my opinion, I'd rather just play uh, the uh, Hisuian Gudra V-Star. And, you know, if you wanted to play it, you can probably do, you know, some sort of Hyper Potion, Radiant Gardevoir type of build, right? You can even perhaps pair it where, with uh, with Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, or the, the Lasso Engine, as I've uh, shown here. So either or works, but the, yeah, these are my, my probably my two personal favorite uh, options for the V Star and the V Max. 
And, um, you know, psychic right now is kind of not really too great of a, of a type. You know, there, there isn't a lot of dark Pokemon being played, but there's kind of not really, I guess it's kind of a middle of the road type. There's not a lot of dark Pokemon being played, but there's not a lot of fighting Pokemon being played either, right? So you can't hit for weak, weakness and your opponent can't hit you for weakness, which is, you know, uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, the deck options, everybody. So let me know what you think. Try that out. And let's get into the opening. So actually, I am going to be using this code card as well. So obviously, because it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we got four packs here. We'll do Lost Origin first. I've already opened probably about four boxes of this set. I have nearly everything except the alternate arts. So I'd be happy getting one of those. Machop, Pikachu, Phantom, Sudowoodoo, Electric, Ghastly, another Comfy. So that's really good. That's actually a pretty nice pull there. Electric Toolbox and Gastrodon. It's about a dollar, dollar, dollar fifty Canadian, which is roughly the price of a V. Second Lost Origin. Same, so same thing. Feelings Poliwag. Ah, oh, another Sableye. So that's really good actually that's another really uh, nice pull and a hollow trevenant so i actually don't have that either so a couple lost zone parts there which is nice astral radiance another thing too is i actually got this uh from uh top deck games for uh, you know about 31 bucks right a lot of a lot of places are selling these for 40 even perhaps 50 if you go to like a big box store right it's not worth it don't pay 50 bucks for this right it's a good 30 dollar pack Ooh, trainer gallery flapple and a hisuian braviary pretty neat nothing there so not really any crazy hits out of the box you did get a couple lost on pieces but uh hopefully this last pack will do it and it's a pack of brilliant so let's go still haven't pulled any alternate arts out of this set a couple nice trainer gallery hits i got the umbreon uh v max the rapid strike urshifu v and a bolt on v carablast clefairy cherubi sock gibble and a Hollow Professor's Research. So, not too bad. Hunting Gloves, right? We actually got a couple Lost Zone pieces, which are, you know, practically ultra rare cards. And, uh, yeah, fairly decent opening. So, yeah, that is the opening, everybody. And um, hopefully uh, you all enjoyed, you know, my thoughts on the, the Deoxys VMAX and V-Star here. Try it out if you'd like. And, um... Let me know what you uh, what uh, what you think and how it goes for you. So, awesome! Thank you so much, everybody. If you like what you're hearing and seeing, I'll leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. As I'm always trying to produce quality content. Every Sunday we do uh, live openings. I open a Pokemon TCG product, right, like this one, and uh, you'll go over it. You know, kind of what I like about it, what I didn't like about it. Um, as, as for this one, the packs are actually absolutely amazing. Lost Origin, Brilliant, Astral, three awesome sets in Sword and Shield. And um, on Wednesdays, our live gameplay Wednesdays, so that's where I play on PTCG Online. I usually play something that's current and kind of show off the deck and how well it performs. Occasionally, I will post like a like an in-person game with you know a friend or something like that, right? You know, playing um, either current or even an old format, either or, just to change it up. And then on Fridays are Deck Profile Fridays, which I'll cover a deck from either the current Sword and Shield on format or any format up until base only. So, like, the very first format ever, 
right? And um, just go through the ins and outs of how to play the deck and um, you know how, how how well it would do in the uh, in the actual uh, game, like in that format. So, all right, awesome. Thanks so much, everybody, and see you in the next video.